Very good afternoon my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So I'm sure there is a lot of followers who are really not happy about the results of the Forex uh, uh, analysis that I have sent last Saturday because most of the pairs have went in the other direction. Now, um, since we are an extreme trader channel, the main purpose of this channel is educational purpose. And if you want to become a successful forex trader and you want you want to improve your skills in trading forex, you need first to understand the reason why did this trade fail. There is a reason for that. Let me just show you the reason together. So as you can see, uh, the US dollar was supposed actually to rise and I was hoping for it to rise after opening the, the business in the uh, United States. And sadly, what happened, as you can see, we can just do some Googling here. If you want to understand what happened in the market, what was the reason for your trade to fail, you need to understand there is something happened in the market. And as we can see here, what is moving the US dollar index lower today? Uh, first of all, it was the coronavirus cases rise in the US. So the cases are now increasing sadly, and we, re we really wish uh, to see it going down and contribution of the US dollar index. And as you can see, there is uh, that is the main reason, if I'm not mistaken. It was the rising of the uh, case or uh, the rising of, num of cases numbers in the United States. And of course, we just uh, uh, really from the bottom of our heart, we wish uh, this hard time will pass, uh, especially for our uh, um, brothers and sisters in the United States. We wish them to be always safe and uh, to uh, get rid of this disease, which is really affecting them so badly. And therefore, that was the reason for the fall for the for the US dollar index. It actually uh, fall down which has led for the pound USD to rise, AUD USD to rise, USD CAD to fall and so on. So now what is gonna happening? Now the falling of the US dollar seems it's gonna continue and therefore we need to uh, analyze our signals or our charts accordingly. So uh, I'm thinking that there will be no more um, placing buy here and sell here. It's just going to be analysis and that's it. I'm just going to analyze the market and see how we can expect for this market to rise. So looking at first of all the pound USD. Now for the pound USD, the pound USD seems like it was able to actually break out from that support level on daily candles. We can see that the pound USD was actually able to make its way above the support level and therefore we can see if this candle gonna close like that today it means that the market is gonna actually continue rising all the way until it hit that previous resistance right there. So let's go to the 4 hour chart and see what we can do. Actually we can start, I don't want to say we can start buy, however um, I'm expecting for this market to move like this. It's gonna fall down a little bit, retesting the broken support level, which was also a support in the past and a resistance as well. So we can expect for the market to move like that. It's gonna fall down just to retest the support levels. And after that, it's gonna continue the rise. So that's my expectation for the uh, pound USD. But however, that is of course not enough. We need to just be sure if this analysis is correct. So let's check the Fibonacci retracement. And as we can see, the pair currently is uh, has reversed for almost three times at Fibonacci 61.8. That's why we are assuming that the pair right now is going to continue falling until it hit 38.2 Fibonacci, which was also the strong support in the past. That level is actually quite strong and I'm expecting for the pair to continue the rise all the way until it hit 161.8. And even if we check the daily candles, we can see the strong uh, bullish candle right here happened. That's a, so a strong bullish engulfing candle. And therefore, uh, definitely the pound USD is going to continue rising. Let's check right now the AUD USD. Now for the AUD USD, right now we can see on daily candles that the AUD USD has reached the top of that resistance level which was also a strong resistance in the past. Uh, it's highly noticeable also that this level of the resistance was actually strong. We can see the rejection 
uh, at the resistance right here, right here the pair was actually not able to break out from that level so that's of course not enough to decide if we should buy or sell we need to do more than that now what we can see on daily candles right now guys I am on the daily candles now looking at the daily market or daily candle sorry we can see that right after this bearish breakout candle from the support we are having right here a resistance number one and right now the market is on is on the attempt number two however the weakness of the US dollar is not gonna help this resistance to last for a long time and as you can see the bullish momentum is so strong today only the AUDUSD has moved more than 100 pips uh, and is now uh, reaching the top level of that resistance so now what should we do let's go to the four hour chart and as we can see we are having let me just draw a Fibonacci retracement exactly like that so as you can see uh, the pair right now is still reversing uh, on 61.8 however we can see that there was a bullish candle has closed above 61.8 that is very very important because now it tells us that the market was actually able to break out from that resistance sorry not that resistance it was able to break out from that resistance right here however it is now reversing on that resistance as 61.8 that means the market is able actually to close above 61.8 but not yet able to break out of it there is a difference closing above the level doesn't mean it is a break out of the level and that is not a breakout candle yet it doesn't look like that therefore what we can expect right now is a, a reversal at the resistance number two just a small enough or a small reversal just to hit this previous support level and then AUDUSD is going to continue rising therefore what we can do with the AUDUSD this week or for the remaining days of this week is actually place a buy order for the AUDUSD exactly right on that uh, zone right here I'm expecting for the pair to actually fall down a little bit reversing on the support at 38.2 and then it's gonna continue the rise until it hit the level 100 of Fibonacci retracement which is also I think we need to mention the levels uh, what I'm thinking it will reach it should reach actually the resistance at 0 0.70299 and that is my expectation for the movement on the AUD USD now moving on on the USD CAD now for the USD CAD it seems like the pair is right now um, gonna reverse at that support level and remember guys we are on the 4 hour chart uh, that support level cannot be I want to remove this Fibonacci retracement guys hold on please all right perfect all right good go back to the four hour chart now as we can see we are having that uh, support level that support it should actually keep its position as a support and the pair is gonna reverse however that is not gonna happen immediately uh, what we are seeing right here like that just like that perfect so we're having right here a previous support which was also a previous resistance and I'm expecting let me go to the one hour chart and, and show you exactly exactly like that look at that look at that one hour chart we can see the support number one right here and we can expect for the market to fall down and create the support number two at that support level uh, that will be actually a good level to start buying the AUD USD in my opinion sorry the USD CAD in my opinion so let me just mark it like that exactly like that right here for our chart just to be sure just be sure exactly look at that it was also a strong key resistance in the past the very same level all right so that confirms it that we can actually start buying the USD CAD and <coughs> it's not gonna last for a long time to be honest as we said the dollar is getting weaker and uh, what is gonna happen in my opinion is that the f the pair is gonna continue falling now as I said there is a strong resistance level right here but however the weakness of the dollar is always changing this analysis so let me just tell you my expectation for the USD CAD is gonna fall down a little bit more reaching that uh, support zone and then gonna rise a little bit more up like that hit that previous resistance and then from that point is gonna continue 
falling. That's my expectation how the USD CAD is gonna move and let's see how it will go. Now let's check the Euro USD. The Euro USD is continue rising again because of the weakness of the US dollar. Uh, that is very important. We cannot ignore it, of course. Let's again draw a Fibonacci retracement. Now, as we can see, we are having right here on the Fibonacci 38.2, we are having the strong key support level uh, on this trend. That means after the breakout from that level of 38.2, now again the pair is reversing at 38 uh, 61.8. We can see that we had a reversal number one and another attempt and right now the market seems to be able to reverse at that attempt also what is gonna happen right now for the us for the euro usd after seeing this uh, this trend definitely the pair is gonna continue rising and in my opinion the euro usd is gonna continue falling like that hitting that previous support level and then gonna continue the rise that's my expectation for the euro usd and hopefully it's gonna be accurate now let's check the usd gpy usd gpy is actually falling more as we can see uh, the pair was able to actually the the, the the fall from that previous resistance on on 107.191 is amazing is insane we can see that the pair had made one attempt of the resistance right here and after that, this pair has been only uh, uh, acting as a support. Even when the breakout happened, the market was ranging at that level and then went down, made another ranging. And when it finally tried to attempt another, at uh, to make another attempt to break out of 107.191, the failure was massive. So now what's going to happen with the USD GPY? Let's go to the daily candles. After seeing this strong bearish momentum from the USD from, from the USD GPY, and we can see that the pair has actually made the break out of the support the trend line, uh, we can expect for it to actually reverse at that support level. It's gonna go out, go go up. It's gonna rise again, make a retest of the broken support the, uh, trend line, and then gonna continue falling. So let me now go back to the four-hour chart. And let me tell you my expectation for the USD GPY. Exactly like that. Ex perfectly like that. So I'm expecting for the USD GPY to make a reverse right on that support level. Let me just show you that support level right there. Right here. Like that. Perfect. Yes, al almost right there. So I'm expecting for it to actually reverse, hit the previous support level after retesting also the broken support trend line and then gonna continue the fall. And I'm expecting for it to actually continue falling all the way until it hit that support level right there. Let me show you. Uh, one second. That support level right there. Exactly where I have drawn my arrow. So that is my expectation. Uh, let me just again draw it just to be sure uh, it's gonna reverse hit that previous support and support the trend line as well and then gonna continue the fall and now moving to the usd chf usd chf is also facing a strong uh, momentum a strong bearish momentum and what i can see here is we had a previous resistance like that as you can see we had here this small tiny res uh, resistance remember guys we are on the four hour time frame right now so we can expect this support level to keep its position as a support and the pair is gonna make one last attempt after the reversal it's gonna make one attempt to to retest the broken support level and then it's gonna continue falling therefore how i expect for the pair to move is actually moving a li little bit down like that reaching the previous support level rising a little bit more up and retest the broken support level and then continue falling and if we want to see the zones i'm talking about it's exactly like that let me just be sure i'm drawing it accurately yes uh, let me just be sure it's accurate my friends it's gonna be like that perfect yes yeah 30 pips only yeah that is how i expect for um you know something i just need to be sure I just need to be sure. Hold on, please. One second. Uh, let me just draw Fibonacci retracement. I'm going to do like that. 
38.2 okay we need to rise this uh, line a little bit so I believe it's gonna rise like that and retest the broken support level and then continue falling that's that's actually much more uh, that's much better that's that is much better let me just again be sure it's gonna move like that move to that resistance level retesting the broken support and then gonna continue falling exactly like that now let's check the gold the gold has is the only one moved as I expected from the last week analysis video however it did not reach the broken support uh, bro broken resistance uh, level and it just continued the rising of course it is uh, supported by the weakness of the dollar and also the rising of the oil prices so let me just uh, see what we can do right now with the gold as we can see my friends we are having right here the resistance is it's right on it exactly and the gold uh, seems like it's gonna continue rising so therefore since the pair on daily candles is at the top of that resistance level what we should do actually is moving right now to the bigger time frames so now I'm going to move to the weekly candle now let's analyze together this pair on weekly candles let's go to the left and as we can see we're having here the top of that resistance level so uh, this resistance right here has been acting as a strong resistance since 19 years sorry since nine years nine years since 2011 this pair has been has never been broken out from and there was another attempt happened on uh, 2012 also the gold has been the, the breakout from the resist resistance has been rejected as well and moving more in the future we can see also late in 2012 again the pair was not able to break out from that resistance then finally in 2020 the pair is approaching that level and I don't see it actually going down at all it's gonna continue rising until it hit the 1794 definitely the gold is rising uh, I don't see it stopping right now at all and to be honest there is no fundamental or technical reason for the gold to reverse so what we should do with the gold actually I hate buying the gold at the top of the resistance so our only hope is the gold is gonna fall a little bit more down retesting that support level and then gonna continue the rise we're having right here a strong res uh, support zone that's gonna be actually our best shot to start buying the gold again is gonna be ranging for almost uh, 95 pips but uh, that zone is gonna be the safest place to start buying the gold uh, definitely the gold in my opinion cannot go up uh, can, sorry, cannot go down at this point and therefore we need to wait to see the reaction uh, from that resistance level right now the gold is in very um, I don't want to say critical situation it's just in very um, uh, the right word will be it's hard to make the decision regarding the gold because look at that it is exactly at the top of the resistance level so we need to wait this four hour can four hour candle uh, to close actually it will close after 31 minutes uh, that's gonna actually decide its fate so if the if the candle actually made the closure or the closed above the level it means the gold is gonna continue rising but look at it right now look at it. the co the candle is losing its uh, strength is getting weaker and I believe after 31 minutes this candle is gonna actually close a little bit uh, uh, look like a pin bar and it's gonna reach that support level that will be actually our best uh, shot to start buying the gold exactly from that previous resistance is gonna fall to retest the level and then we can start again buying the gold so the signal for the gold or the analysis for the gold is pretty much the same because we are just waiting for it to reach that previous support level and retest the broken resistance uh, but definitely in my opinion the gold is gonna continue the rise it's not gonna reverse at all right now so that was my expectation for this week and uh, believe me uh, guys um, I'm aware that most of you did not like the new style of the analysis however I am tired of taking all the responsibilities because I am I am seeing the comments on YouTube and some of them are really annoying and really disturbing because they are judging me for the entry 
if the trade or if the signal has reversed just one pip below or before sorry the entry point they will judge me they will say you cannot take the any credit for the signal and these messages i'm receiving they're asking me salah i opened the sell order for the euro usd what should i do what should i do it's more responsibility and i really cannot take it anymore I cannot I have already the premium the premium signals with Angela I cannot take more more headache and more responsibility like that to tell you guys what to do about this signal therefore um, I decided that there will be no more signals there will, there will be just a forecast just analysis and that's it uh, where you want to place your buy order or sell order it's really up to you as I said it's just analysis and I cannot take more responsibility than that so anyway uh, in the end, I hope uh, it's gonna be a profitable and good week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching